guys. <sighs> I was out of breath. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my... Okay, let me get this right this time. It's going to be my June favorites. Today is July 6th. I know we had a little hiccup in the last video. I think I said it was like July and it was just June. I really usually don't know what day it is. Ugh. But I don't have like a job that I go to every morning and I don't have kids. So I'm kind of like, what's today? Almost every day. But today is... Wait, what's today? Today's Monday? Today's Monday. Today is Monday. <laughs> This is going to be my June favorites. I really had to scrounge to get favorites for you guys because I've just been pretty busy lately. I haven't bought a lot of makeup except for the stuff that I showed you in the haul last time, which I really haven't even gotten into playing around with. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. That's what we're going to do. So the first thing that I want to talk about is some nail polish. I have been obsessed with white nail polish. I don't know why. I used to think that white nail polish was like... I was like, what did they do? Paint their nails with white out and just throw a top coat on it? Which, if you're ever in a pinch, I feel like could work, right? Like if you used white out but you put a good top coat on, you know it would be good. The white that I've been wearing is from Essie and it's just called Blanc. And I really like this one because it's not really watery or streaky like some white nail polishes can be. It goes on pretty thick with one coat. I do have two coats on. I usually always do two coats on my nails. But it's just a nice white polish. I got mine at Target. A lot of you guys were asking in my vlog that I put up which if you didn't see the vlog I will link it in the bottom bar I put it up I don't know when I put it up but I put it up a couple days ago ah! another favorite nail polish has been the sinful colors c'est la vie I love this blue it is such a unique blue almost like a periwinkle maybe it's a beautiful blue and I love it and I get compliments on it whenever I wear it I've been alternating my nail polishes between this, these two colors usually when I paint my nails I paint my nails three to five times a week usually and it's very rare that I like repeat a nail polish color and I've been repeating this too which just goes to show you that I have been loving them so uh, sinful colors you can find at like Walgreens and where did I get this one I think I grabbed this from Walmart they're pretty inexpensive I believe they're like in the two three dollar range so stock up when I first started collecting nail polish when I first started collecting nail polish sinful colors I had like every single one of these colors just because they're so inexpensive and they have a great like color range. The next favorite is from Stelia and it is their stay all day contouring bronzer for the face and the body and this one is in medium. When I purchased this I didn't realize that they came in different colors. I don't know if there's a lighter one and a darker one and I just have the medium version. I'm glad that this one works for me and it is a beautiful beautiful bronzer. No shimmer in it. I love the color. There's like no orangey tones to it whatsoever and I love how big the pan is because it is made to bronze your face and your body so you could take a big powder brush in there and whip it all down this area if you needed to because you know I like to fake that self tan now and then so that's what made me really purchase this was just the size of the pan of it but when I got home and used it I loved the bronzer I thought it went on really smooth I don't know if it's as smooth as the Kat Von D ones is what I would compare it to um, but it is still a very beautiful bronzer and again I just love the color because there's no orangey tones in it which is what I like. Next um, is a foundation. This foundation is from Cogendo and is their aqua foundation. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this foundation in a favorites before, but I think I was talking about how I mix the foundation together with the Makeup Forever HD foundation to give me like the perfect foundation. Well, I've since moved on from that and I've just been using the straight aqua foundation and I am so in love with this foundation. I probably This is probably my favorite foundation out of any foundation that I've ever used. It is just so beautiful. It is HD makeup. It's an aqua foundation so it doesn't dry fast. It blends beautifully. I only need about one coat. <laughs> I only need about one layer of the foundation to give me like a flawless look but it is buildable. It just gives you this beautiful glowy skin which is what I love all year round and even though I do have oily skin I don't like to wear foundations that matte me out because I like that natural dew. Some foundations that I use I don't love them when I first put them on my face. I have to wait till they kind of set in, settle into my skin and I put everything else on my face and then I'm like okay I like this foundation. This foundation as soon as it goes on my face I'm like ah, la, la, la. this is the color 143 I also have 123 um, I found them on sephora.com and 
I don't think they have a huge color selection, which is kind of the only downside, but I feel like you could get two of the colors and just make your own perfect color because this is seriously the best foundation that I've ever used, probably ever. You go, Cogendo. So these are the Marc Jacob High Shine Lip Lacquers. I think that I used this one in one of my last videos, and this is in the color Moon Glow, and this one is in the color Love Drunk. These are so beautiful. I have this one on in the middle of my lips today, and they're so pigmented. They do have like that minty smell that kind of the Buxom Gloss has, but it doesn't have like that cooling, cold sensation that the other ones give, but I know the other ones give that feeling because I think those are like plumping lip glosses. So this is a Moon Glow, right? Moon Glow? I want to make sure I'm telling you the right name because you know me. <laughs> yeah, Moon Glow. And it's just like this beautiful pinky nudie gloss, which you can't ever go wrong with a nudie gloss. Even if you have like on a dark lip, you can pop it in the center just to give a little bit of dimension to your lip. And then this one is like a brownie, like a darker nudie color, which I think is beautiful. I wore this one solo. So that's what the two look like. And they're not sticky, which is like a huge thing for me with glosses. I don't like the sticky gloss and these aren't sticky so I love them. My next one is from House of Dolls and I got this in my P.O. box and I'm pretty sure it's Natalie Doll that's here on YouTube that this is her like lipstick line and I just thought her packaging was so 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 cute it just it's like this um, and this color I'm obsessed with this is called She and it is the color that I have on my lips like all over I do have stone lip liner over it and then this all in the center but I love this nude this may be my new go-to nude and it just looks like that um, I've been obsessed with dose of colors soft touch which has been my go-to nude for a really really long time and when I put this one on I was like oh my god I think that may have just taken dose of color spot so I think it's a beautiful color again it's called she they are super creamy really pigmented and they feel really nice on your lips and it's a satin lipstick because it does it's not matte or anything like that which will keep your uh, lips hydrated and it won't dry you out too much so that's the color right there and again it's called she next is this million dollar tan mermaid mousse I will link my full um, tanning routine in the bottom bar if you guys want to check it out but I wanted to mention the face one because we know that I am not really a face tanner when it comes to self tanning or just tanning in general way back when when I used to tan in tanning beds don't tan in tanning beds side note I, I used to cover my face if I tan outside I would cover my face which I don't do any kind of tanning bed tanning or sun tanning really anymore because I'm just trying to preserve the skin and sun damage is really serious and I don't think that the ozone layer is as strong as it used to be so those UV rays are just coming down hot and getting us so uh, I like to self tan a lot and even when I self tan before I used to only self tan to my neck and the rest of my body but I wanted to mention this because I've never been so in love with like a facial self tanner as I am with the million dollar tan and I don't know if it's because it just has this little easy like soft cushiony little applicator that goes with the self tanning mousse but it just is the best facial self tanner I have ever 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 used even though I'm washing and exfoliating my face a lot I don't feel like it comes off in the first day and I feel like even if I don't exfoliate my face it just fades so naturally and that's like a huge thing to me because some self tanners I've tried they don't fade naturally and they get all like you know what I mean like what's what am I looking for what's the word I'm looking for they get all patchy translation is patchy I guess I've been doing it pretty regularly even if I'm not self tanning my whole body I've been just tanning my face because I like when I wake up in the morning and have a little bit of color and I'm like this looks great I've never gotten a breakout from it so I just wanted to mention it because it's a big deal to me to have like a tan face because I never have a tan face. My face is always like five shades wider than my body. So, have been loving it. Thought I'd let you know. Next is this concealer from Maybelline. And this is the Super Stay Better Skin. And I got this no, 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 two weeks ago maybe. I haven't had it long, but I love it. I love, love, love it. The foundation, I do not like it. I don't know what it is about the foundation version of this, but... It like sits on my skin and I can see it like all over my face and it just like freaks me out so I I haven't worn that since so that's like a product I regret buying was like the foundation version of this but I do really love the concealer probably because I really never met a concealer that I didn't like unless it's like super super heavy and thick and it's not really like for the eyes but under eye concealers if they have like this nice like creamy consistency to them most of the time we get along um, I like the color of this one the color is in light medium I think that I got 
but it just says light on the bottom but I'm pretty sure that I got light medium because I didn't want it to be like super white under there. It has antioxidants which is supposed to help your skin over continued use of the product. So I have just been using it underneath my eyes. I do have it under there today and I've been pretty creaseless but I do, you know, look up, tap out, make sure all the creases is gone, set it with powder, and do all the stuff that you should do if you want to prevent your concealer from creasing. But I just wanted to give it a little shout out because I have been loving it so far. I haven't had any complaints with it, but the foundation, I stay away from it. Well, that's just me personally, and I have oily skin. I don't know how it'd be for you. But for me, I don't like it. So this next one is random, but I just wanted to mention these to you guys because um, in my vlog I have on a black pair that's like this, but these are just my house shoes. And I don't know, for people that have tile or hardwood floors or anything like that, I have to wear some kind of shoe on my feet when I'm walking around my house. Otherwise I just get like creeped out by like the feel of the floor on my feet and I'm like, ah, I don't like it. And if I wear socks, even if we mop our floor every single day, my socks always get dirty because I end up just walking outside with them. So I was like, I need house shoes and I would always steal like Jeremy slides and he'd be like where are my shoes because he's the same way he can't like walk around so I got these from finish line they look huge they look like I wear a size 17 but these are just a nine <laughs> um, but I thought they were really cute they're like girly and they have they're like metallic and they were only like 20 bucks I had to go online and get them from finish line because in the store my other ones are right here. I got these in the store and I wanted these. They didn't have these in my size. So I went online and got them. They were on sale. They were like 25 bucks or maybe even 20 bucks, which is really good and cheap. I can't get back in my seat. And I saw some comments asking in my vlog where I got them from. So they are from Finish Line. They're inexpensive and they're comfortable and they're cute. So I thought I would mention them just in case you guys have a tile or you just want some slides in your life. My next favorite is from Ardell, and these are the Double Up Wispies. I actually have them on today. I wanted to give them a go, see what they're like, and I love them. They're just like the Wispies, but a little bit thicker, and I was unsure of them at first because I have tried Double Up Lashes from Ardell, and the band was a lot thicker and a lot harder to maneuver onto the lid, but this band is pretty similar to the Wispy band. It's not thick, it's super flexible and easy to put onto your eye. I didn't have any issues with it so just wanted to give these a little shout out um, because I didn't even know they had double up wispies. Did y'all know? Or was I just living under a rock? Because I went into Sally's the other day and I was like what? And then my last favorite is the Studio Fix Powder from MAC. This is in the color NC35. Um, it is a powder foundation basically and I am obsessed with it. You guys know that I've been on like a little powder foundation kick and none of the powder foundations like I've liked all the powder foundations that I've used but none were as good to me as the Studio Fix powder. Now the reason that I wasn't using it before, I had Studio Fix powder in like NW20 which a while ago I was using to set the under eye concealer underneath my eyes and I always could tell by the coverage, I was like oh my god I need to get this in a powder foundation and then I just got hooked on the other ones and I finally went and got my color in the MAC one and I just love it. I think it's like the best powder foundation and I not only use it when I have no makeup on whatsoever to just kind of even out my skin tone and kind of cover up any discoloration or blemish that I might have on my face that day but I also use it to set my foundation when I have on a full face of makeup just to give me an even more fuller face of makeup because you know I'm either no makeup or all makeup so I'm gonna set it with the powder foundation to give it even more of a flawless appearance <laughs> I love it I love the studio fix powder I probably won't try any more powder foundation just because this one is winning in my life so I believe that is it for my June favorites I got it right. Um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys except I love you. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. I don't like to wear matte foundation. What? Or not. Dewy, fresh to fla flace. Enamored. Why do I feel like I'm saying that wrong? Enamored. 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 Does that sound right to you guys? I don't know. This bond though. Some foundations that I use. Oh, it doesn't have a name on it. How can there?